Ash with Gaba, your holly bolly goo. Oh no, my eyes itch, my nose is runny, and my throat is scratched. Hello everybody, this is Rahul Josh, back with more movies for you. Hello everyone and welcome to Genius Kids On Air, being brought to you by Genius Kids and our sponsors Skin Laser Essentials of Fremont and Brian Simonson of New Skin Enterprises. Genius Kids On Air is where kids of all ages learn to think, lead and communicate. Genius Kids On Air gives kids of all ages the opportunity to raise questions, ask questions, answer questions, develop confidence and the freedom of speech. Genius Kids on Air radio program is for the whole family where our weekly topics will encourage all of you at home to engage in healthy discussions exploring different subjects points of views and opinions. In today's fast-paced society being just book smart and a straight A student is not enough. Our show will teach you to be street smart no matter how big or small you are. Remember, it is not easy to stand up and speak out for what you believe in and our show is that avenue for your voice to be heard. A favorite book, a thought to share, an unusual career you've picked, your favorite comedian or president. Is homework really useful? What is the purpose of spelling B? Is the planet Earth really the only planet we can live on? Are you the next American Idol and lots more? Right here on Genius Kids on Air, a weekly show on KLOK 11:70 a.m. every Tuesday night from 7 o'clock to 7:30 p.m. Tune in every week to hear our kids discuss their thoughts, their ideas and views. Call us at any time during the show at 18557728278 and share your views or chat with our guests. Do you want to be a guest or have a topic to discuss? Well, send me a message on Facebook at Genius Kids on Air. Did you miss our show? No problem. Join us on Facebook or listen to our archive shows at geniuskidsonline.com. Remember children, as Anthony Robbins once said, Life is a gift and it offers us the privilege, opportunity and responsibility to give back something by becoming more. Genius Kids on Air is your chance to be that special person. Your mindset needs to be turned around at a very early age. We must be the change that we want to see, as Mahatma Gandhi said, and on that tune, stay tuned for 30 minutes of TLC. Think, lead and communicate. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yaar, you read so well. What do you eat? Akil, eat? Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kids. I started at Genius Kids when I was very, very small. And I have learned to think, lead and communicate. Oh gosh, I wish I could do even one of those. Easy, Akil. Tell your mom to enroll you at Genius Kids today. It's never too late. Genius Kids, the leader in early education and nominated best preschool in Alameda County. Call 510-713-2431 or visit www.geniuskidsonline.com. Hello everyone and welcome and we hope you're all enjoying yourselves. You may be either in your car driving home with your folks or chilling at home getting ready for dinner, maybe on your computer listening to us online. Or for sure I can say you're getting ready for your first day at school tomorrow but whatever you're doing welcome i'm miss renu and let's empower all the bay area kids and families of all ages for the next 25 minutes with genius kids on air today is a pre-recorded show since i'm also very busy getting ready for a new school year so the topic i thought would be perfect today for all the families would be how do you prepare for a new school year meeting new friends grades and all that stuff so let's begin with the mommies and daddies the start of any new school year always brings changes to our household changes in the sleep schedules meal schedules and of course studying time how can we approach it successfully well the things you're going to need is of course a family calendar write on wipe off board with markers and erasers alarm clocks that's right don't forget those alarm clocks and lots and lots of patience the first thing you need to do is begin to install special rule times for bed and wake up times remember school is starting now so bedtime and wake up times are very different from the summer schedule if your kids have been going to summer camp then of course you're one step ahead because you've already been getting up in the morning to get to summer camp but You need to prepare your children and yourself for the starting hours of school. Kids will be less stressed and less tired if they sleep properly. 
So make sure each child has their own alarm clock and starts to practice using it. If you haven't done that, get one today. Now the next thing that is important is how to prepare for those school lunches or packed lunches. I'm sure most of the parents have these kids that just don't like to eat food and are very fussy. So mommies and daddies, make a list of all the needs and things that you like, things that your kids like to eat, and of course things that are healthy. Get those brown bags, reusable lunch containers, or even a lunch pass, and begin to set a menu for the kids in order that they can eat properly and you don't have to get up in the morning and stress about what to pack them for lunch. <laughs> Yummy! Now the next thing to get is the fun part. Purchasing school supplies. Remember to place your children's supplies in their backpack and store those near a convenient location. Always label all the things. Your child will have everything they will need immediately. School supplies are usually being offered at sale prices right now. So if you haven't received a supply list from the teacher, check your school website or the teacher or call the office for one. Now another fun thing to do is declutter your children's closets and drawers. Donate clothes that don't fit anymore or pass them to friends. Double check under the clothing supplies and update if necessary. New clothes are not required to start school unless of course they're required to wear a uniform. If your children have clothes that are in good shape, don't worry about buying them more new clothes to have them fit in. Wait until the school starts to get clearance prices if more clothes are needed. A very critical tool for home is purchase a write-on wipe-off message board. Many of these can be mounted to the cupboards or used with magnets on the front of a refrigerator. Use one to keep track of all the school needs such as turning in field trip money, concert clothes, etc. Kids can also write mom and dad important messages regarding school. This is a great way to write down school bus numbers, phone numbers for carpools and other important school needs. Now the night before the first day of school, teach your children to put their clothes out to get ready in the morning. Encourage them to do this every night during the school year so mommies you don't have to deal with all the yelling and screaming in the morning about what they want to wear and their color choices. Another very chaotic thing is breakfast. Mums and dads can ease breakfast chaos by baking up a quartable batch of pancakes or waffles, freeze them and you will have a healthy breakfast ready at a snap. Simply reheat them in the microwave, toaster oven or toaster and be sure to have that syrup, powdered sugar or fresh fruit ready to top up with them. It's a nice alternative to boxed cereals. For those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Miss Renu on Genius Kids On Air. And we're talking about how to prepare for your first day at school. I'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. Are you seeking a fun place for your little genius to step into their journey of learning? Maybe you need a program to tweak the minds of your toddler and preschooler. Maybe you need a fun and rich summer camp or an after-school program during the school year that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking, arts and crafts all under one roof. To add to the icing on the cake, a cute, real yellow school bus that can pick and drop your child off to and from school, home or genius kids. Delicious home-cooked meals, yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more. Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism, or who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle schooler or high schooler who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Now, where could you find this wish list? Yes, of course, there are tons of preschools and after-school programs. But let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on CNNMoney.com as the most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been nominated Best of the Bay by Cron 4 Television? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only one, and that's Genius Kids. Genius Kids is an independent, award-winning, accelerated learning center founded on the philosophy, never too little to learn. As parents and educators, it is our responsibility to awaken the inner genius in your child. Call us today with campuses in Ardenwood, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose Fremont, and of course our first franchise in San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, 
Please call us only if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Call us at 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431 or visit GeniusKidsOnline.com. Genius Kids is proud to announce the expansion of their San Ramon location to a larger and more convenient location. Effective September 1, 2011, Genius Kids will open its campus at 1021 Marketplace in San Ramon, right behind the Knob Hill Food Center. We'll be offering a full range of programs from toddlers, preschool, pre-K, kindergarten and after school from kindergarten to sixth grade, as well as recreational arts and crafts, public speaking for all ages up to 8th grade. With open houses scheduled every weekend on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., parents will be able to relax as they drive home slowly during the weekdays and not rush to pick up their kids from school since we are open until 8 o'clock Monday to Fridays. That's right, 8 o'clock Monday to Fridays. Call 925-244-1080. That's 925 925- Two four four one zero eight zero for more information. Genius Kids at one zero two one Marketplace in San Ramon. Welcome back, and for those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Genius Kids on Air, a show for kids and by kids. Our guests, our radio jockeys, and our correspondents are all kids between the ages of 3 and 15, and this show is about developing communication, confidence, and all our gurus and radio jockeys are kids who love to speak, have fun, and share new information. For more information on our show or to dedicate a message to your friends and family, give us a call at 510-364-4033 or visit our website at www.geniuskidsonline.com. Call Genius Kids today at 510-713-2431. Genius Kids has won numerous awards in the Bay Area and is recognized as the most likely place to find a Silicon Valley inventor, a program that develops a well-rounded child in all areas of academics and personality. After all, what's the point of just having all this knowledge if you cannot express it? Genius Kids will awaken the inner genius in you. On that note, I'm Miss Reno, and welcome to our show, which is brought to you every Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, right here on KLOK 1170 AM. Today, we are talking about how to prepare for school. Now, kids who are starting school for the first time tomorrow or moving to a new school will have a much bigger adjustment. Sometimes even moving up to a grade means coping with new teachers, more academic demands, and a changing social circle. So start preparing your kids now in terms of how to cope. Make sure that your child is familiar with the school. If they were at the same school last year, that's perfect. Then you only need to talk about any differences this year. For example, you might say, you know, you're going to first grade, you need to get to play with the big kids on the playground and go eat in the lunchroom with other kids. Or you could say, now that you're going to third grade, you will have a lot of homework every day. So in other words, start beginning to prepare your child. If this is his or her first year at school, then you will want to take some trips there. Even if there is a formal orientation day just before school begins, start now by taking a trip to the school. If you can get access to the playground, that's a terrific way to help your child bond with the new school. If not, at least admire the playground through the fence and get him or her excited about the slide or the climbing structures. If the building is open, by all means walk in together to check it out. If you're allowed to poke your head in the library, peer into a classroom or two and use the bathroom, that's very important to make kids feel secure, then you have hit the jackpot. You may not get more further than the office, but this is where you can explain to your child that they'll be starting school and what they should be doing. Either way, the more your child sees of the school, the less he or she will fret with the fear of the unknown and the more comfortable she or he will feel on the first day. 
Now, another really good tip for parents is to take advantage of any orientation opportunities. Many schools will let new students, especially in the younger grades, come to school for an orientation session before the school begins. If the school does not have such a program, then ask if you and your child can come by to meet with a new teacher for a few minutes a day or so before the school starts. Teachers are busy preparing their rooms and materials at that time, but any experienced teacher will always be happy to take a few minutes to meet a new student and make them feel comfortable, since they know that this will help their students settle into the school year. Facilitate your child's bonding with the teacher. All the kids need to feel connected to their teacher to feel comfortable in the classroom. Until they do, they are not ready to learn. Experienced teachers know this and hence collect their students emotionally at the start of the school year. Obviously, if you can arrange for your child to meet with the teacher in advance, by all means do so. But there are lots of ways to help your child feel like he or she knows even a teacher before they've met them. Once you find out your child's classroom assignments, begin talking about the teacher in very fond and familiar terms. For example, you could say, when you're in Miss Renu's class, I bet you she'll be impressed with what a great cleaner-upper you are. Or you could say, I'm pretty sure that Miss Renu reads stories to the kids. She might even read your favorite book if we bring it to school. If you can find a photograph of the teacher, put that on the refrigerator and start talking about her fondly. Your child will begin to respond back more positively to the teacher if they know that, your mom, that their mom and dad likes your teacher. Encourage your child to draw a picture about their teacher on the first day and maybe pick out a shiny red apple for her. Now, it doesn't really matter what kind of teacher Ms. Renu is or Miss Williams is or whatever, but your child will feel a fondness for her to which she is likely to respond favorably. Regardless, the feeling of familiarity will help your child bond with the teacher. If in the beginning you find, especially in the first week of school, that your child does not seem to have a connection with the teacher, don't hesitate to contact the teacher immediately. Explain that your child was very excited before school started, but now he or she does not seem to have settled in. You will hope then that the teacher will make special effort to reach out to him or her so that they can connect and feel at home. Virtually all teachers will understand this issue and pay extra attention to your child. However, parents, it is very critical that you are polite when you ask favors of teachers because, remember, teachers are overloaded with a lot of other things to deal with. It's not what you say, but how you say it. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi there. Why do you look so stressed? Rahul, I just do not understand my homework. I cannot seem to read this. Do you want me to help you? Oh, thank you. Can you tell me how come you are such a good reader and your math is amazing? You can count in your head without using your fingers. Well, I guess because I'm a genius kid. Genius kids? You mean you were born like this? No, I've been going to Genius Kids Learning Center. I was reading before I was three years old. By the way, we are all born geniuses. The secret is to start your learning early to stimulate those brain cells and neurons in your head. The program is so much fun. Besides, learning to read, write, and do math, we have so much fun in our science class and story time. We get to go on stage all the time and speak on a microphone. Do you know I have been performing on stage since I was three years old? Wow, I wish my mom had sent me there. It's not too late. I am now going to the after-school program as well. Anyways, chill, and let's help you with this simple homework. Call Genius Kids today at 510-713-2431. Genius Kids has won numerous awards in the Bay Area and is recognized as the most likely place to find a Silicon Valley inventor a program that develops a well-rounded child in all areas of academics and personality. After all, what's the point of just having all this knowledge if you cannot express it? Genius Kids will awaken the inner genius in your child. Visit our website at www.geniuskidsonline.com or call us at 510-713-2431. 
Genius Kids, never too little to learn. Genius Kids, Genius Kids. Everyone, I just had an ice cold glass of milk. Yum! Today, I'm going to talk about why your mom is right when she tells you, Drink your milk! Milk and other calcium rich foods have always been a must have in kids' diets. After all, calcium is a key building block for strong, healthy bones. Did you know that more than 85% of girls and 60% of boys ages 9 to 18 fail to get the recommended 1,300 milligrams of calcium per day? That's not surprising when you consider that many kids now drink more soda than milk, which is one of the best sources of calcium. But at every age, from cal calcium is one is one nutrition that can, kids can simply can't afford to skip. As you grow, the body uses calcium to build strong bones till the end of teen years. Bone calcium begins to decrease in young adulthood and progressive loss of bone occurs as we age, particularly in women. Teens whose diets don't provide enough calcium are at the risk of developing osteoporosis, which increases the risk of fractures from weakened bones. Younger kids and babies who do not get enough calcium are increased risk for rickets, a disease causing severe bowing of legs, muscle pain, and weakness. Calcium plays an important role in muscle contraction transmitting messages to the nerves and release of hormones. If blood calcium le levels are low due to poor calcium intake, calcium is taken from the bones to ensure normal cell function. When kids get enough calcium and physical activity during childhood and teen years, they can start out their adult lives with the strongest bones possible. Excellent sources of calcium are milk, calcium, for fortified orange juice, cheese, and yogurt. Good sources are collard greens, calcium-added soy milk, broccoli, almonds, and sesame seeds. So kids, drink up. Milk, that is. Try to get at least three servings of milk or milk products. Get moving. Get plenty of sunlight. Vitamin D got from sunlight is necessary for calcium absorption. Stay healthy until next time. Hi, my name is Rahul Joshi. What's your name? Hi, my name is Amis Kalra. Hi, so I have a question to ask you. What do parents do that irritate you the most? Uh, mostly like um, getting mad at me when my sister's the one um, hitting me and I'm getting in trouble. Uh, okay, thank you. Hello, this is Rahul Joshi, and what's your name? My name is R.T. Sita Raman. So I have a quick question to ask you. What do your parents do that you like the most? I like, I like it when my parents spend time with me and help me with my homework. That's very nice. us want to go out to play as soon as we come back from school. We all feel that we have worked hard at school. Sometimes we don't want to open our books again and do homework. But homework is important. Hello everyone. Welcome to Miss Renu on Air. And this is Bhavya Diti here to resolve conflicts and problems. Now many kids often wonder why we are given homework. First, we study all day at school, and then we get more work to take home. I know I feel the same way many times, but believe me, there are several good reasons why homework is given. Here are some. Homework is important because it teaches responsibility and helps students develop good study habits. 
Homework helps to reinforce lessons that have been learned in class and helps prepare students for upcoming lessons and tests. Every child works at a different pace. In addition to homework, a student may have classwork that needs to be completed. 15 to 20 minutes of reading a day can help improve a child's performance. Some students have homework buddies who are friends who can call each other if they have a question about an assignment, forget an assignment, or perhaps quiz each other in math facts and spelling words. Do you have a homework buddy? Try this and see if this works for you. Homework should be a top priority and 30 to 45 minutes each day should be a schedule to complete homework. Children benefit from routine and structure to be successful. Regular homework submission and deadlines help prepare students to become more responsible, independent workers in the future. Now, I know all of you are convinced, so hurry along after our show and complete your homework. And by the way, Listening to our show could be a part of your homework since you will learn so many new things from my colleagues of Gurus. Signing off until next week, Bhavya Didi always to your rescue. Hello, my name is Safa Kazami and I am your White House Guru. Are you part of the food revolution? If you don't know what I'm talking about, then listen carefully. When Mrs. Obama tells her let's move plan to reduce child obesity, she already knew nutritionists were not the only ones interested in healthy foods. I think she's got good political antennae, says Michael Pollan, author of The Omnivore's Dilemma. Parents are worried about children's dietary health. Also, half of the fat comes from school lunches. David Kessler says that what Mrs. Obama is undertaking is as hard as any public health initiative we've ever seen. Also, he said that our social norms or inner cravings make it hard for us to get in a daily routine of a healthy diet. To me, the problem is that stores make junk food in lower prices and healthy food in high prices. Our parents consider themselves as smart shoppers for getting lower-priced junk food. Also, in some schools, sodas and vending machines. Thank you for listening to me on air. Now have a happy weekend and stay away of junk food. Hello everyone, and for those who have just tuned in, you've been listening to Genius Kids on Air, being brought to you by the award-winning learning centers Genius Kids. Did you know that Genius Kids is the only learning center that was selected from thousands of businesses in the whole country to be featured on CNNMoney.com by Time Warner and Cadillac Cars for our innovative concepts and educational ideas? There are a lot of wannabes just like in school. So many biters want to be like you. But remember, each of us is special. And just like that, Genius Kids is special. Our new expanded center opens in San Ramon on September the 1st with 2,000 square feet of a beautiful campus with full academics, public speaking, arts, crafts, reading and writing clubs, as well as some extended daycare. Call us at 925-244-1080. That's 925-244-1080 or 510-713-2431. We are also soon to announce expansion of another beautiful campus in Fremont with full daycare and infant care. And on that note, I'm Miss Rainer wishing you a wonderful week and a happy start to your new school year tomorrow. Until next week, stay smiling and be happy. Wake up! It's time to go, shake up, shake up, it's time to glow. Come on, brainy brain, there's so much to know. Let's rock and roll, off to the show. Stimulation and connections, that's what our brain needs. Knowledge, information, let's plant the seed. See, hear, say, and do, let's learn to grow. Come on, me and you, with Genius Kids, the most incredible show. It's straight to the top where we're gonna go. Genius Kids, Genius Kids, where personalities rock. Genius Kids, Genius Kids, the world we will shock. Genius Kids, Genius Kids.
where personalities rock. Genius kids, genius kids, the world we will shock.